Five reasons why I believe there will be a fourth stimulus check of $1,400 or possibly even more. I have all the details in this video plus a special bonus. So let's get into this right away. But if you haven't done so yet or if you happen to be new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video so I can keep you updated each and every day with all of this information that is changing very rapidly. It's incredibly confusing out there with everything going on, but don't worry, I'm doing all the research and I distill it all down into these condensed videos which I deliver a few times every day so that you can stay tuned with all of these details as they are happening in real time. So again, thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button right down below if you haven't done so yet and so you can be eligible for this special bonus which we're going to talk about right here right now. All right, so let's take just a minute and talk about this. If you have not done so yet, make sure to subscribe because you have to be subscribed in order to be eligible for this. But right down below next to the subscribe button, there is a share button. If you share this video with your friends, family, and social media, you can grab your piece of $1,000 I will be giving away right here on this video. So. And not only that, after you share the video by hitting that button, make sure to leave a comment that says whatever you want it to say and then also include, I shared the video. And as I choose people right out of the comment section, if your comment says, I shared the video, you could be eligible for your piece of $1,000. So I'll have more details on that in just a minute. So hang tight and let's get into these reasons. All right, so I'm probably gonna get a little bit of pushback on this video, but that's okay. Everybody has their own opinion and everybody is entitled to their own opinion. That's totally fine, I don't mind at all. But let me give you the reasons why I still believe there will be a fourth stimulus check in the amount of $1,400 and possibly even more. And I'll also tell you why I'm thinking $1,400 and maybe not a different amount. So all of that to come here in just a second. Let's go through these reasons one at a time and I'll try to make it relatively quick with each of them. All right, so let's get through this. Reason number one, the midterm elections are coming up in November. So with that being said, we already are looking at some of the preliminary polling numbers out there right now. And again, one quick note before I get into this. If you've been watching for a while now, you know that I am very much nonpartisan. I do not take sides with this stuff. Sometimes the content leans to one side or the other simply because that's the kind of content that it is. It leans one side or the other. But I just want you to know I do not take sides with this. I'm simply telling you the information that I find while doing my research. All right, so with that out of the way, let's talk about this. Okay, so the preliminary polling numbers that we're looking at, Looks like Democrats are possibly having a very long road ahead of them when it comes to the midterm elections. According to everything that I'm finding out there coming from all kinds of sources, whether it's Republican or Democrat, independent, nonpartisan, there's a lot of different things out there. And it looks like with everything going on, Democrats may be in a little bit of a situation when it comes to the midterm elections, which means they could be completely losing control of the House and the Senate. Now, of course, not the presidency, but they could potentially be losing control. If that's the situation, that could be catastrophic for Democrats, right? They want to maintain power when it goes into this. What could they do to possibly gain some extra support going into the midterms? Well, as I mentioned before, giving money seems to be a really good way to get to people and make sure that everybody remembers you when you go to the polls, right? So I know, but for me, if somebody gives me some money and helps me out in a, in a tough situation, then yeah, I'm certainly gonna remember that person, right? So that's reason number one. Reason number two is these monthly checks that have been going out on a monthly basis, which are the child tax credit payments. Now, here's the thing. I know that a lot of you in this community do not receive these payments. Of course, there are some of you that get them, and that's great. If you're getting these, amazing. I'm happy for you. This is great. However, with my research and everything that I'm finding out there, it looks like there is a lot of pushback on these monthly payments. And it's not so much that they're saying, hey, stop the payments. That's not what I'm seeing. But rather, I'm seeing a lot of reports that are coming out saying that seniors are not in very much support of these ongoing monthly checks because of the situations. A lot of seniors are saying, hey, you know, I'm 62, I'm 65, I'm 75, you know, whatever the age is, doesn't really matter. But a lot of these people are reaching out saying, you know, my kids are 30, my kids are 35, 40, 45, whatever the kids are. And you're saying, um, you know, I'm not eligible for the child tax credit payments, but yet I'm in a situation where I need a monthly check really well, uh, just as badly right now. So a lot of seniors are coming out saying, 
I support the checks. It's great. They're helping out my kids. They're helping out my grandkids, things like this. But what about me? I need a check too. So this is reason number two that I'm saying there's a lot of pushback on these child tax credit payments, not in dissupport or lack of support, but rather for seniors coming out saying, what about us? What about the millions of seniors who need these monthly checks as well? And we've been completely forgotten about and we're trying to scrape by on a little $800 social security benefit every single month. So what I could foresee possibly happening is maybe Congress comes out and says, hey, you know, sorry, we forgot about you. Here's a one-time stimulus check to help get you by, right? So I could foresee that happening as well because there's a lot of pushback on this and a lot of people saying, what about us? You forgot about us once again. There's millions of us and you forgot about us once again. So again, this is just what I'm finding from my research. All right, number three is... COVID. We have to talk about this because, I mean, honestly, let's be real. COVID is what caused these stimulus checks in the first place uh, back in early 2020, right? So let's quickly take a minute and talk about this. As of right now, COVID is absolutely surging across some of the states. Now, again, I know co uh, this whole COVID thing is pretty controversial. I hear I'm not taking sides. I'm not telling you what to believe. Um, that's totally up to you, you know, um, but I'm, get, I'm telling you the stuff that I'm finding from my research. And here's what we're finding. Just as of yesterday alone, New York reported the highest single day uh, number of cases ever since this whole thing started. Over 21,000 new cases alone in New York yesterday. And according to what experts are saying, they're anticipating that we're gonna see a massive, massive surge of these cases over the coming days and weeks. They're telling us it's gonna be a pretty ugly winter coming up. And realistically, right now with everything going on, they're saying it's gonna be really bad here coming up fast. Now again, full disclaimer, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist, um, I'm just a dude on YouTube. I'm not a, me a medical professional in any way, shape or form. But again, this is what I'm finding from my research. So again, we have to remember, COVID was what caused stimulus checks in the very first place, right? Um, you know, things started to, to close down. This whole virus started to take over the whole country. And all of a sudden we started seeing stimulus checks and these massive multi-trillion dollar stimulus packages being passed as a result. So yeah, we got to watch this stuff very closely. All right. Let's take just a minute here and talk about this $1,000 money grab on this video. Um, and then we can get into reasons number four and number five. All right, so as I mentioned before, you need to be subscribed in order to be eligible for this. So if you haven't done so yet, make sure to uh, hit the subscribe button right down below the video. It's totally free to do so. I'm here for you every single day with all the latest updates, with everything going on, and I truly just wanna help out in any way that I can. Make sure that you get more money into your pockets because let's be real, this is a really tough time right now. There's no other way to say it. It's a tough time. A lot of people are really struggling. So. Make sure you're subscribed down below. Make sure to share this video right down below uh, next to the subscribe button. There's a share button. Share this video with your friends, family, and social media, and then make sure to leave a comment that says, hey, Matt, love the video, or I disagree, or I think this is going to happen. Oh, plus, by the way, I shared the video, you know? So make sure that that's in there. Here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna say three hours after this, eh, let's leave a little bit more than that. Let's say five hours after this goes up. Yeah, I'll do that. Five hours after this video goes up, I will go into the comment section and I'm going to use a random comment generator to randomly choose comments out of there, out of there, um, the, the comment section. If a comment is chosen and it says, I shared the video and I'm subscribed or, you know, whatever, um, but it has to say, I shared the video. If that says it in there, I'm gonna reach out to you and say, hey, winner, winner, check it out, send me a quick email and claim your prize. I'm gonna choose five people and I'm gonna send out $200 a piece for five people. So I'm wishing you the absolute best of luck in advance. If your name is chosen and you have the special keywords in your comment, I'll reach out to you and say, let's let's connect and let's get you your $200. So I'll choose five people, $200 a piece, and hopefully, you know, it's not much, it's certainly not a stimulus check, but you know what, at least it'll maybe get you something before the holidays here. Hopefully you can have a nice time. Either way, do whatever you want with it. I don't really care, it does not matter. Do it whatever you see fit with your situation. No strings attached. I'm not gonna be the guy that micromanages how you spend it. That is totally up to you. I just wanna help out in any way that I can. So again, wishing you the best of luck. Let's get into the next reasons here. All right, so, um, re oh, one more quick note, by the way. 
Um, make sure that you verify when I reach out to you. There's a lot of scammers down in the comment section pretending to be me. Please do not fall for them. You will know it's me. Pr trust me. When you see a comment, if it's from me, you'll know it's from me. I'll make it very clear that it's from me. Okay, just quick side note. All right, reason number four, business closures. Here's the thing. We're already starting to see a number of different events, different sporting matches, different things that are already being canceled and or postponed. Let me give you a couple examples. The NFL, for example, is already postponing games to Monday and Tuesday because of COVID outbreaks. Um, Broadway has already canceled a number of different shows. The Rockettes, everybody knows about the Rockettes, right? <laughs> They've even canceled a bunch of shows because of COVID outbreaks. We've seen a number of different gatherings, events, uh, concerts, all kinds of different events types, you know, large gatherings that are already being canceled as a result of COVID outbreaks. Here's the thing. We're already starting to see some kind of business um, business closures and or business restrictions in different states and different districts. If this starts happening on a widespread scale, we're gonna start to see, hey, a lot of businesses are closing and or they're closing, you know, they're maybe limiting their hours, they may be limiting like restaurants, you can't go in to sit down to eat, but rather you can only take out. What's that gonna do to these businesses? It's gonna crush these businesses once again, just like we saw through the early portions of 2020. It's not a good situation. So what happens when we see massive starts of, of closures and uh, things like this to businesses? What do we need to do to help them out? Well, that's when the Congress steps in and the federal government steps in, sends money out to us, the people, so that we can go out and start spending it in these businesses to give them a little bit of support again, right? So if we start seeing a lot of business closures and or restrictions or anything like that coming down on businesses, it's highly likely that we're gonna see more stimulus coming in so that we can go out and spend it on the things that we need and ultimately stimulate the economy to bring it back up, right? Does all this make sense? Okay. Let's talk about reason number five really quickly, and then we will talk about why I think it's gonna be $1,400 versus $2,000. All right, really fast, let's buzz through number five, the stock market. I know a lot of you don't watch the stock market, but I do. I watch the stock market because I know everything is very highly correlated. The stock market is sitting on the edge of a cliff. One teeny tiny breath from a little baby breathing on it is gonna tip that sucker right over the edge of the cliff and it's gonna go down. When that happens, almost every single time that the market goes down substantially, we see Congress step in and we see all kinds of money starting to flood the market to pump the thing back up. So the stock market is pretty volatile lately. It's been up and down a lot, um, mostly down lately. And here's the thing, if this thing tips off that cliff and it starts heading down, it's gonna be an ugly situation all around, right? So watch that closely. Actually, don't even watch the stock market. If you don't watch it already, don't start watching it. It's very confusing. I'll watch it for you, I love it. I watch the stock market literally every single day I'm looking at it, um, but it's something you just gotta watch. So that's reason number five. All right, let's talk about why I think um, it's going to be a $1,400 check versus $2,000. Here's one reason why. The last stimulus check that we got in March of 2000, well, I should say that was approved in March of 2021 was $1,400. I think it's gonna be 1,400 again, in my opinion, again, is because that's what this administration is comfortable with, $1,400. That's what they did one time. And I anticipate if they do another one, it's gonna be 1,400 again. I do not think it's gonna be less than that. I think it could be on the low side, 1,400. On the high side, maximum 2,000. No more than 2,000. I highly doubt it'd be any more than 2,000 at an absolute ma uh, maximum. But I'm leaning toward 1,400. That's just my honest opinion based on what I've seen, based on everything, based on the numbers, how much it would actually cost, all of these reasons. The administration has already approved this amount. I'm thinking if there will be a fourth, it's gonna be in the amount of $1,400, even though we really wanna push for 2,000. 2,000 I think would be an absolute max. I don't think it would be even a penny more than that. But again, that's just my opinion. I hope I'm wrong and I hope it's like 5,000. That'd be <laughs> pretty cool, right? I mean, just imagine. That'd be pretty life-changing for a lot of people. But I'm really leaning on that 1,400 as the magic number as far as what it would actually be. So anyway, I know that there are far more reasons than just five, but these are the five that I wanted to lay out in this video. Who knows? Maybe I'll make a follow-up to this one because I have way more reasons than just five for why I think there will be a fourth stimulus check coming out and um, coming out to people here at some time. Now, one more question I'm probably gonna get is when? That's one question I don't really have an answer for. Honestly, I have no clue when. I, 
who knows? I mean, seriously, I can't even go out on a limb and throw out a, a random time frame for that is because everything is so delayed right now. Everything is so in the air right now. I think it all depends on when any of this stuff that I just described starts happening. If we start seeing COVID spread like wildfire, then I'd say sooner. If we start seeing business closures, I'd say sooner. If we start seeing... Um, well, all kinds of stuff happening faster than I'm going to say it's probably going to be passed sooner. So, <laughs> sorry, that was awkward. I just like inhaled something. Um, <clears throat> wow, I should probably cut that part out, but honestly, I'm not going to. Why? Because I'm a real person and I'm not perfect in any way, shape, or form. I choke on my spit sometimes. I choke on my tongue sometimes. <laughs> It's just a real thing. I'm a real person. So I'm not going to take that part out because it's kind of funny. And hopefully you're laughing at me right now because why not? And um, I'm really getting hot and sweaty right now. So you know what? I'm just going to wrap this up because now I'm embarrassed. So anyway, <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> oh man, I wish I had an editor, but honestly, I don't. Um, so I guess I'm going to have to live with it. So anyway, hit that subscribe button down below. I wish you the best of luck. And I really hope that nobody's watching still because this is really embarrassing and I'm super hot right now. All right, I'm going to turn this thing off. So enjoy your day. Subscribe down below. Share this video with your friends, family, and social media. Oh, man. All right. Uh, thanks again. Enjoy. <laughs>